Vermont Fish and Wildlife wants your help counting turkeys. All right, Ben David heads to Windsor to find out why. At the Windsor Grasslands Wildlife Management Area, wildlife biologist Chris Bernier is focused on the fields. They tend to hang out um, at the lower edge of this field where they can dart into the, the uh, shrub cover that is adjacent to it if a uh, predator or or a brood survey participant <laughs> comes along. He's looking for turkeys and he's currently in the field of dreams for the birds. It is a, a, you know, a largely a grassland focused WMA as you can see and why it's significant for turkeys. It's significant to a whole host of species but turkeys among them is because of the grasslands that are here. It provides those perfect, that perfect mix of shrublands, grasslands, and even upland forest where the turkeys can go about their life history and get all the, uh, the nutrients and, and forage they need. Searching for turkeys is something that the state is asking you to do as well. And for the months of July and August, um, we ask participants who are out and about over the course of their daily lives and see a turkey brood or turkeys, um, to take a moment to figure out the hens from the poults and the toms, the toms and jakes, and to count them, and then to report their sightings. So far, the number of reports are down for the citizen scientist survey. We have not seen the participation this year as much as we would like. We normally get around 1,000, 1,100 observations per year, again, July and August. Uh, this year, we're, we're way below. I want to know why the numbers are low, the numbers of observations being reported. Is it because there are less turkeys or is it because there is less participation? One factor could be the wet summer that Vermont has seen. Wet weather, particularly cold wet weather, um, is really hard on the turkey poults. So the highest mortality for turkeys in their entire life cycle is those first three weeks of life. So turkeys lay 10 to 12 eggs starting in mid-April they incubate those eggs for 24, 26, 28 days, and then they hatch in late May, early June. They experience those new, newly hatched chicks, the poults, experience their highest mortality those first few weeks, and now we're out here in July and August trying to assess how much that mortality impacted them. The other factor could be the turkeys are just hiding. The other factors that play into these, the, the numbers of observations we're getting is likely the fact that Farmers have had a real struggle this year trying to hay their fields. And when there is standing hay on the fields, the turkeys are much harder to see. They're much more concealed, which is great for the turkeys. They love that. A lot of insect life for them to forage on, a lot of cover for them to move about in, but it's really hard to see the turkeys. And when you do see a turkey, uh, particularly a hen, who, you know, they're standing with their heads up, you know, in guard, um, it's hard to see the little ones that are really, you know, completely concealed by the vegetation. Bernier says that the survey is a win-win for everyone. Benefits of citizen science in this way are, are many, um, and they're not so easy to quantify. But um, from my perspective, when we engage our citizens in collecting scientific data that helps us manage populations, it enlightens our, our population, our human population, into the science method, the scientific method. It gets them involved broadens our understanding of the data sets that we use and, and the analysis that we do. Um, and they get, they get to participate in it. It's awesome. We'll have information on where you can report for the Wild Turkey Brood Survey on our website, WCAX.com. In Windsor, Ike Ben David, Channel 3 News.